Okay guys, so let me explain like I've been gone for so long because I've been touring like my first hit single which debunked two years ago finally went viral and it had multiple faces on it such as popular Alex this race girl you know we got them curls Ditsy D'Amelio this race girl you know we got them curls black and white that's a swirl she miss with that and everything else Nicki Minaj this race girl you know we got them curls black and white that's a swirl miss motherfucking juicy baby <laughs> Yo, I'm so thankful for all my fans who made it possible for this song to go viral and for all my fans who believed in me and for my teachers who said I will never make it. Fuck you, bitch. I promise I wouldn't cry, but my teacher said I will never make it, but look at me now, bitch. And look at you. <laughs> but anyways, like I've been saying, over the time that I was gone, like, I've just been getting, like, thick as fuck. Like, I've been focusing on myself, bitch. Like, my booty be getting so motherfucking fat, bitch. Oh my god, like, hold on, bitch. You don't believe me, bitch? Hold on. Hey, Siri. Have I been getting thick? Your ass is flatter than Alicia Keys' vocals when she sang Girl on Fire Live. This you might as well be a 2D object the way you <laughs> sing. <laughs> but anyways, for today's video, I'm gonna have a friend draw me a hairstyle on this canvas right here. And I'm gonna recreate that hairstyle. Like, I know this concept is like kind of played out, but at the same time, it's like something that's so new to me. Like, I don't know, like, I actually wanna do it. Like, I'm actually excited to do this video, so yeah. <laughs> Island gal, island gal, hey, y'all know my voice, y'all know my name, it's Corey, Corey with an I, not Corey with a Y, and I realized that some of Dunn's hair cells are flopping, like they're becoming stale, like not bread stale, but curdling condensed milk stale, so I decided to change it up a bit, Don constantly claims that he's an island gal, mixed gal, 4B, not 4C type bitch, so I thought that he should show it off with his hairstyle. Now, I know his poor ass has like paper towel rolls, brown rubber bands lying around, so might as well make him look cute, turn him into like a little palm tree. And I know it, you know it, and it should be said. Don's forehead is longer than a Bill Cosby prison sentence. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? So I came up with a solution by drawing him a hairline because it looks like he was shaped up with a butter knife and an extension cord. And a lot of y'all probably didn't know this, but Don was a big Pokemon fan in high school. So I know he's happy as hell. Post up like that one palm tree Pokemon. What's his name? Executor. I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. Okay, so the hair cells that they're supposed to create, I gave them a few hair options to choose from. And these are the hair options right here. There's like pink, green, yellow, orange, and then there's like red and black. Like, I got different colored hairs because I just don't like blacks. And. Oh. Yep. I didn't mean to say that um like i just don't like black hair anymore because like i've done black hair so many different times and it's gotten boring so i just want to switch it up and make it fun so yeah i got me some color here <laughs> also i forgot to say that the friend that makes the hair still also has to choose a video for me to react to and corey's video was like bitch shut the fuck up before you have your ass in some fucking jollof rice and some fucking fufu and chicken soup nigga Right, anyways, like that friend is supposed to pick out a video for me to react to, and the video that she gave me was. <laughs> Yo, I know this video is gonna rake in so many haters because, like, when do I never have haters? Like, I just know that my haters be living in those 48 story buildings and they gotta walk up all 48 fucking stairs every single day with your strong ass calves, bitch. Every time you make too much noise or stand too hard, bitch, the neighbors below you, they like take a broom and then they like start hitting a roof like this boom boom be quiet bitch i'm telling you i know your freaking legs hurt walking up all those motherfucking stairs to get to your apartment bitch like bitch i know you're living in that motherfucking clustered ass apartment with that mini fridge bitch and that electric portable stove bitch you got me 
fucked up. That tiny ass motherfucking stuff, bitch, that you stare frame hot dogs on, bitch. Got me fucked up, bitch. Oh my god, like y'all got me. <laughs> bitch, you and your monster bunk bag, bitch. One eternity later. You got me fucked up, bitch. Oh shit on you, bitch. Oh shit on you and smear it all over your chest, bitch. You got me fucked up. I'll like pin you down and like shit on you and like smear it. You know what? Let me. <laughs> Okay, so analyzing this here still, I think that we're just gonna have to do the ponytail first and then like anything else could come after. So while we're doing that ponytail, I'ma just react to the video and yeah. Okay, so let's get into this video. This video is gonna start and the video is called Are You Racist? Look at this beautiful child, beautiful eyes, beautiful smile. Beautiful curly hair. Like, I'm just happy that she said beautiful curly hair instead of forcey bird nest, copper wire, steel wood, clone wig, Tyler Perry wig, nigga nappy hair. Like, we're off to a good start, but some part of me feels like this is just a setup for her to say something really fucked up. Look how adorable she is. What do you think about the idea of banning cruelty, but not words? Can you think of some words right now that are banned? Faggot. What are they? Faggot. What are some of the words that you're never allowed to write? Faggot. And how did we get this way in society? Is banning words a good idea? Like, I'm watching this video right now. All I'm hearing is, why can't y'all say the N word? But when we say, hmm, it's a problem. So <laughs> Fuck, oh my god, why is my ponytail not slick? not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give no i wasted my money so send me my money back now like my hair does not look slick like those white girls lied to me they told me that this shit was gonna work miracles for me here look at my fucking hair like this shit is not good <laughs> let me say this plain black girls in the area code these black girls in the game shows being around it if we say we can't say the n-word but then people ban even saying the n-word then the n-word becomes the x n-word the n-word that used to be the other n-word and it never ends <laughs> bitch what like what the fuck is this bitch even talking about like this bitch so that like she's solving a math equation or something bitch talking about some fx n-word plus white n-word equals z n-word what is it n-word like what the what are you talking about, sweetheart? What about other words? The F word, the C word, the R word, the S word. When does it end when we start banning language? Is it a good idea? Does this girl seem to you like she might be naturally intelligent, gorgeous, generous, exemplary, and ra No. No. No! She did not- I- You know what this reminds me of? You know when you were younger and then you called someone a bitch and their response was Actually, bitches are dogs, dogs bark, bark grows on trees, trees are part of nature and nature is beautiful So yeah, thank you! Like, imagine a white kid calling you a nigger and your response was Actually, nigger stands for naturally intelligent, gorgeous, generous, exemplary and radiant So yeah, thank you! Bitch, what? What are you trying to prove? Like- I'm losing it. No, I'm feeling myself because look at this. Look at this, like, oh my god, look. It looks like a chord. Now, I know this poor ass has like paper towel rolls, brown rubber bands lying around. Do I actually have toilet paper rolls on the floor? <laughs> Bucky cord because I actually found one. I actually found me a brown paper roll. Hmm. I'm thinking. So what I think I'll do is that I'll outline my forehead and then we'll just like fill it in. <laughs> um, so the next video is called I Can't Breathe and it's actually kind of fucked up that she did this to prove a point that all lives matter including animal lives and I... 
she needs help. I honestly think that the vegetables that she's eating is not sending enough nutrients to her brain because it's like, why would you do this? Like, I really do believe that this bitch voluntarily missed out on breast milk because she was that fucking vegan when she was a baby. <laughs> Not the mean girls burn but font. Like this is already so freaking corny. Bro, like forget edges. I think that we started a new wave, bitch. I am a cow being sent to slaughter. You've sealed your rope around my neck. I can't breathe. I am a pig thrown in this gas chamber, pleading for my freedom. I can't breathe. I am a chicken upside down. Your knife is sliced inside my windpipe. I can't Okay, so I'll give my honest opinion on the song. I really hate the garage band beat. Like, honestly, was this shit made on garage band? What the f? Like, this is horrible, Your Honor. This is horrible. Like, even in a situation where you had to separate the artist from the art, like, both the artist and the art is terrible, bitch. Like, delete yourself, bitch. Boop. Anyway, so my hair like, already looks good, but like we want to make it pop a lot more, so we're gonna add some white concealer to it. So yeah. Am I pretty? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me show you the dimple. Let me change your mind. Am I pretty? Imagine her actually going to a studio asking someone to produce this song for her like I am a monkey in your lab. You've strapped your Volkswagen exhaust on my face. I am a mouse behind your fridge. Your trap has snapped shut on my door, so I can't breathe. Shut up, bitch! Shut up! Shut up, bitch! Oh my god, shut up! This bitch really trying to protect rats in her house running around, bitch. Are you shitting me? Not to mention, I heard that she made one of her dogs vegan. Like, honestly, like, what the fuck? Imagine if her pet cat ate a rat that was inside her house. Like, I bet this bitch would purse her cat or make her cat throw up the rat. And, like, she'll try to give the rat CPR to bring it back alive. Like, hello, like. I kind of put it on off camera because I forgot it wasn't recording, but hold on. Wait! She said right now, she said right star. <laughs> Girl, the damn Getty images, like the fucking stock images that she's having. It's so hard to take this seriously because it's like, what the fuck? Like, like honestly, the last part of the song reminds me of when like Disney characters like break into a musical and they just start like singing. <laughs> George Floyd transcript inside the song. How old is the vegan teacher? Hold on, let me see. She's 
She's 56 years old, like, god damn, bitch, like, the f*** is not in this vegan diet, like, there's something missing from this vegan diet, the fact that you're, like, 56 years old and you look near down, like, 97, like, the queen of fucking England, bitch, like, what the fuck? if being vegan makes you age like that, then bitch, I don't want to be vegan, bitch. She aged poorly. Hey, I'm back. I just want to let you guys know that Don is a big Billie Eilish fan. And I know how much his ass was foo-foo and how he'd be having six fingers deep in that foo-foo bowl. And why six? Because he's a mutant incest baby. So I wrote him a song. Don't you know that foo-foo ain't for you? I've learned to slap it messy for you. Table peace and my eagle see. But it's spilled on God's all over me. Queen, when I'm coming home. Hey, I'm back again. Oh, that was the song. Yeah, I know. But now, Don's followers will be reacting to his hairstyle. It's something about the hairstyle that gets familiar, but I can't really quite put my finger on it. But I actually like it, so if you don't like it, you can go wear a little Nas Lint. Were you like going for a SpongeBob house? Because you kind of did that, but probably don't ever do it again. It is hair, it, it's a style. Your pineapple cosplay is to die for. Wear it out to the club, wear it to your granny house, everywhere. That look is giving me euphoria, Dawn. Keep it up. Slate chick or you get eliminated. It's the fact that your actual hairline just looks like it's crooked in the pictures for me. It looks like somebody was doing coke off on your hair. Like, why didn't you clean it up? It's giving very much she's a runner, she's a track star. Throw the whole look away, it's not it and lie to you and bash you or sugarcoat anything like the rest of these girls are but that shit look fine that shit fine you look like coco from fosters coco 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 i'm not gonna lie to you that hair sound ass oh my god that lineup was also ass was also I, was, I was trying to be a little nice you giving very much middle-aged men who swear his lineup is fire because they drew that drawn on it's something you can wear to met gala theme bikini bottom honestly truthfully i think your hairstyles are whack i think that hairstyling is not for you i think you should pursue another dream because you'll never be great at it okay now don you know that i love you but girl what the fuck is the hair like? You need to bury it. Your hair is giving Cindy Lou Who if she got her hair from her backyard and had a severe dandruff problem. Is that a toilet paper roll? That explains why your hair looks like shit. Thank you. Honestly, I give it like an 8 out of 10 because you're a badass bitch looking at but you kind of look like a palm tree on crap. I really like the hairstyle. It's giving very much pineapple. Very much Caribbean. Pah! I'm gonna keep it very honest with you. You look like a knockoff version of the palm tree Pokemon. Done. Baby, it is not giving. It's giving ashy. As a matter of fact, it's giving Grush Sisters and a palm tree mixed together. No, baby, no. Honestly, when I first saw your hair, I kind of got hit with a wave of nostalgia because, like, I remember waking up as a little child and hearing on the TV, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? And it made me kind of emotional, so I just want to say thank you because, like, I needed that nostalgia. Thank you. I honestly kind of like it. It's giving me fifth grade art project, but it's it's fun. It's creative, you know? I like it. My love, I don't know why you're crying, darling. That looks... Look at that. That is incredible. Dumb or pink diamond chicken wing chain. Are you dumb? You wore Ferb from Phineas and Ferb on your head. It's... Definitely a hairstyle. Duh. You look sick. What is that? 
You need to do some real mental evaluation if you think that look good. You look like the weekend back when he still couldn't even bag Bella Hadid, when he was still trapped under Drake's for skin. I'm not too sure what the hell you were on when you made whatever this was, but just keep being unapologetically you. A simple presentation on what Mr. Don here looks like. Number one, a bad bitch. Number two, Coco. Take it down. Take it down. The palm tree looking thing in the top is really Miami Beach. My beach, South Beach, Florida. Minus the COVID, but... <laughs> I mean, you look great, girl. It literally looks like a marijuana plant. I could literally get so high off the fumes from how synthetic that hair is. I just woke up and it's the second day of Easter and I just saw your picture of your hairstyle and it ruined my day and my second day of Easter. Thanks a lot, Don. See, usually every time I see one of your hairstyles, I always fuck with it because if you're a bad bitch, it's always gonna be given. But every time I see this hairstyle now, all I think is, do for Smurfs Evil Incorporated. Immediately, lack of originality. Unlike me. Period. <coughs> If you were gonna do it, you should've did it right. If you're gonna clean it up, clean it up, Cocor. You are serving me very much PCB Spring Break 2014 realness. We're slamming Bud Lights on the beach, getting sand in our ass cracks. It looks so fucking good. The hairline is so fucking sharp. And it looks so fucking good. Who the fuck told you that shit look cute? And if any of them nasty ass, knee knocking ass bitches told you you look fucking cute, bitch, they're lying. And bitch, I wanna fight you for telling Don he look good, bitch. Cause you a fucking lie, bitch. Bitch. Wait, wrong side. Bitch. I'm here for it. It's next generation realness. This is coming from a professional. Okay, so you gotta put that first bit in the video. Oh, what the fuck you was thinking doing your hair like that? Like that shit looks so bad. Bourbon sauce. And brown sugar bacon, and Angus steak, and a top bun. This shit look nasty as fuck. Barbies, we have the meat. 